So I saw this uh, tweet from Sync Fusion regarding a holiday challenge. Uh, it mentioned spend 20 minutes completing this challenge for a chance to win a $25 prize. Um, so if you go over to Sync Fusion's website, um, first of all, they create over a thousand components and frameworks for um, basically any project application that you're building, regardless if it's Xamarin, Flutter, Angular, uh, Windows, regardless. Uh, you can use their controls within your app. Um, and so it's good to, to test this out. Um, it's nice that they have this challenge uh, so we can see how easy it is to use their controls. So if you go up here to the top and click on blog, The first entry here for December 2nd is announcing their holiday, Xamarin Holiday Challenge. And so if we go through this, first of all, it shows you what the completed uh, application should look like. It has a calendar control. It also has a, um, like a little tutorial at the beginning of the app and a login page. So that's what we're going to be setting up. And we're going to be using the Essential UI Kit along with Sync Fusion controls to create our views um, and to, to do the navigation. So we can follow the guide here uh, at Windows. Uh, if you're using Windows or if you're using Mac, uh, you can click on the Mac. I'm using Windows. I'm gonna open this in a new window or a new tab. And it mentions we wanna download and install the Essential UI Kit for Xamarin Forms. Now I've already done this, but all it is is you down, you click on the download button and you can open it, you can save it either way. And then you just walk through the setup. Uh, it's very simple. And that will install the Essential UI Kit for Xamarin Forms so that you can use it in Visual Studio. Once you've downloaded and installed that, you can move on to step two. We're going to create a new Xamarin Forms project. So let's open up Z uh, Visual Studio. When it comes up, we'll click on Create New Project. And we can select mobile here and then mobile app Xamarin Forms and click next. And I'm going to put this in a challenge folder and then we need to use our name here. It says to use Xamarin Holiday Challenge as our name, so I will copy that. We're going to create a blank template for Android and iOS. So there's our name, and I'll click Create, a blank project or blank template for Android and iOS, and we'll click OK. And this will create our project. Or actually, it'll create our solution with our three projects. So snap these side by side. We'll get rid of this little cookie notification at the bottom. And we're ready to move on with step three. So in our solution, I'm gonna pull this over. In our solution here, I'm gonna pin that just so you can see what happens when we do this. Minimize our references. All right, so first I wanna right click on the Xamarin Holiday Challenge Core Project. and click Essential UI Kit for Xamarin Forms. We want a simple login page here under Forms. That's uh, our A here. And then we also want to go to Onboarding and click a walkthrough page. So click on Onboarding, Walkthrough Page. And once those are both selected, we can click Add. And as you notice here under the notices, this will add all the files and NuGet packages required um, for all of our projects. So basically we just need to sit back uh, and wait a second. We're gonna see it creates a lot of references. In our core project, it's gonna create a lot of folders for our models, our views, and our view models. Um, and then it'll add files. And so let's just wait and give that a chance to finish up. And there we go. Here's all the files it created, our references. I'm gonna just minimize everything um, to clean it up a little bit. 
And we don't need the themes, converters, controls, behaviors. All right, so that should be good. All right, so moving on, it says as documented here, install the NuGet package F, no, SF scheduler. So we'll click on the documentation. And I'm gonna just drop this down. Actually, that's okay. So we want the syncfusion.xamarin.sf schedule. So I'm going to just copy SF schedule so that I can search for it. I'm gonna click on my solution, right click on it and click manage NuGet packages for solution. Because we wanna install this in all of our projects. We'll go to browse and we will just paste in our sync fusion schedule. And we're going to pick this first one here. We're going to add it to all of our projects and we'll click install. We'll accept. All right, that's done. We can close our, our page there. Again, we'll kind of clean this up a little bit so we can see everything. All right, so um, once we've added that, then we need to go down to our initializing it. In Android, it says we don't have to do anything to initialize it. Uh, but for iOS, we need to add this SFS schedule renderer dot init into our finish launching in our app delegate. So we'll open our app delegate uh, under finish launching here. We will paste that in and we need to pull in our using statement. And that's it. That's all we have to do to initialize it with it for iOS. Again, Android is already set to go. Then it says create a new class called meeting. We'll right click and copy that in our model folder. So we'll come over to our models, right click add a class and we will name it meeting click add and then we need to copy over the code from this link here so we'll copy all of this we'll right click and copy we're going to highlight the class here we'll right click and paste in our code all right, we'll save that. We can close our meetings file and we'll close this browser tab. Now we need to create a class, we'll right click and copy, scheduler page view model. So underneath our view models, we'll add a class and we'll paste in the name here. And we need to copy in this code over here. So you, you're free to look through the code to uh, see exactly what's going on. Uh, but for this video, we're just going to copy and paste. We'll save that. Now you'll notice this meeting doesn't, uh, it doesn't like it. So we will pull in our using statement here and we can save and close. Again, back over here, we'll close our browser tab. Um, and this is here, eight is adding this using statement, which we just did. Now, step nine, we want to right click on our .NET standard project and create a new content page. So we're going to right click on our .NET standard project. We're going to click add new item. We're going to create, uh, select a content page, not the C sharp one, uh, but the XAML. Uh, we can paste in the name here. Oh, wait a minute, what did I do here? The name is just scheduler. So let's get rid of that scheduler. There we go, add that. And now we need to add this namespace here to the top. Let's uh, minimize our solution. Explorer. All right, so we'll add that in there. And then we also, that says that this will help us access the APIs of the Sync Fusion scheduler. And then we want this other namespace, uh, which basically is giving us access to our view models folder. 
and the view model that we just created for our uh, scheduler. And then we want to copy this in for our XAML code. So we'll replace our content page content. And I like to just give a space there. And this is basically just bringing in our binding. It's binding to our meanings for our data source for our scheduler control. Uh, one other thing we want to add here is navigation page has navigation bar to false. That's step 12. So now we're finished with that. And now we're going to be adding in navigation. So we'll come to our app.xaml.cs file. And we're going to replace the main page here. And we're going to direct it to our onboard animations page. That's like our little tutorial page. It's going to flip through uh, when we load the app. Um, now, let's see, we can save that. We want to go to our onboarding animation, animation view model. It's underneath our view models here. Underneath methods, we want to scroll down to move to next. We have our pop async, that's fine. We just need to add our push async. And this is, uh, once we're done with the tutorial, it's going to push us to our login page. So we'll save that. And then finally, on our login page, we want to copy this guy to our, in our login page view model. Let's switch over there. Underneath this login clicked. We want to add that in here, and what this does is once we click the login button, it's just going to jump us over to the scheduler. Um, so the login page isn't wired up. It simply is going to just re, uh, redirect us, navigate us to the scheduler page. So that is it. We can build this now. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first for Android, we'll give that a second to spin up. All right, so, so there's, there's our app. It says... Um, Basically, this is our walkthrough tutorial at the beginning. We can step through that. When we click done, it's gonna pull up our login page. Again, nothing's wired up, it's not gonna do anything, but when we click on the login button, it will bring us up to our scheduler. Uh, we can take our meeting here and move it around. We can scroll to the next uh, week, scroll back. I'll switch this over, let's see, let's grab this guy and pull it over to Monday. And so that's exactly what we expect to see if we look back over here, the finished product. Um, but just for kicks, let's go ahead and do the same thing over on iOS. So we will right click our iOS project, says the startup, make sure that we are connected to our Mac. And now we can run this on our iPhone simulator. All right, and so here's our app on iOS, the iOS simulator. Same thing. We'll cycle through our little tutorial, click on our login button, and we can move around our appointments. Um, so this is working. As I mentioned, we've learned how to use the uh, essential UI kit as well as Syncfusion controls. Um, so now we need to send the final project um, to them. And it does tell us to make sure we delete all the bin and OBG, OBJ object files. So let's click on this guy here. Uh, we do need to close our Visual Studio. Our folder here, let's come in and let's delete all of our folders. That's in our core project. Do the same for Android, and finally iOS. All right, now we can right click on this and send to compressed folder, and we can put a name uh, if you like, that's fine. And then over here, we're going to enter our information over in the um, our, our browser tab. 
All right, so name or uh, email address, name. Um, we need to upload the file. So we'll come over here and we will browse. And we'll grab that file and open it. And it'll upload. We can right click on this, select all, and copy the link. And we'll paste that back in over here. And did you have any difficulty using the controls? No. And we can submit. And your response has been recorded. There's an email uh, we just got saying thanks. That's perfect. And so we are, we are finished. Um, now, hopefully, we can win one of these $25 Amazon gift cards. But if not, either way, we got to see how easy it is to use Sync Fusion's controls within our application. So thank you for watching, and I hope, uh, hope it helped you out.